love cartoons. Oh, am I early? I'm early, aren't I? Whoopsie doodles. All right, I'm gonna just sink back down. See you all in a bit. Roll title screen. What is up, everybody? Boy, I don't know if I've ever quite clearly conveyed this to you guys, but I really enjoy cartoons. <laughs> Okay, good to know. Anyway, growing up, my life was heavily influenced by shows like Spongebob, Avatar The Last Airbender, Looney Tunes, and even now, I'm constantly enjoying new shows like Steven Universe, Voltron, Gravity Falls. It's amazing to think about how much time and talent goes into those shows and how much they impact whole generations. The people who can make those shows must be so so creative. That's the word. I can't believe you listed off all of those and didn't mention a single Disney movie. Well, I'm pretty sure by now people know I like Disney, Roman. How would we know? We know. Fair enough. But yes, cartoons are quite magical. Right? I mean, these teams of people can work together to create these worlds and in turn spark the creativity of their viewers. I mean, you're my creativity. How do they make you feel? Randy dandy, I'm quite grandy. See, that's pretty good, I think. I don't know. I've always found them off-putting. Well, yeah, I can see that, Logan. You're my logical thinking and things in cartoons don't always make logical sense. But that's what's fun about them. Mm, if you want to call fun misrepresenting the natural world to hundreds of thousands of impressionable children, then sure. Look, so much of life is dominated by your world. Logan, let Thomas enjoy the bit that's dominated by mine. Kinda sad, though. Well, how do you have anything negative to bring to this anxiety? We're talking tunes, Dr. Gloom! Easy, Roman. Uh, yeah, Logan wasn't a blossom of enthusiasm either, but sure, make me the antagonist. Okay, I will. Mm. Okay, what were you saying? <sighs> I was saying it's kinda sad how wonderful those worlds are. Mm, gotta say, this still feels like a bit of a reach. Can I, can I finish my thought? Oh, can I? Yep. Mm -hmm. Can I continue? Sure. <sighs> They're so wonderful, and you can never actually be a part of them. Who would want to live in a cartoon world? Oh my goodness, that would be the most epic thing! Question answered. Okay, okay, yes, I have thought about that once or twice, but come on, like, who doesn't? I mean, that's basically saying the real world is not as fun. Don't, don't you dare, I know what you're going to say, just Zip it. I mean, wouldn't you say, Thomas, that some of your short videos were inspired by cartoons? Like my own presence? Was that Donald Duck? N not no. just that. It's all throughout your comedy. Disney parodies, SpongeBob absurdities, Looney Tunes slapstick! And you populate your content with zany and goofy characters. Like who? I love cartoons! Wow, you were late to the vlog today, Morality. Well, I just didn't want to be too early again. What? Nothing. Even the faces you make. It's like you're trying to be a cartoon. What? When have I ever done something like that? See, why would anyone need to move their face as much as you just did in that one sentence? To be a cartoon. Or not to be a cartoon? That is the question. I don't know if that is a question, because you cannot be a cartoon. Or can I? No. You can't. And what, what are you looking at? I don't know what they're looking at, but I am eyeballing that fridge because there is some leftover pasta. Okay, I will admit that being a cartoon was one of my wilder fantasies. It was pretty wild. But maybe there's a way to make it happen, even just for a bit. I have no idea where you're going with this, but I blindly support you. Where do you go? I would like a say in this. Not today, logic! That's a good phrase to live by. And away with you, Marilyn Morose. Okay, booked. Wait, what? Booked! What the f The plan is already in motion. I've got a plane to catch. Gods! Speed, Thomas! Chase your dreams! May the winds of fortune carry you to your destiny! You do realize we're his personality and we're going too. I did just now. Oh, I love flying! But I hate flying. How does that even work? One flight to LA later. Hey! Um, who are you? Thomas Sanders, how are you doing? And you're Butch Hartman. Yeah? Creator of Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy. Yes. Awesome. I'm here because I kind of need your help. You need me to make you into a cartoon, right? Yes! No. Why? why? Do you know how many people bust in here every week asking me to make them into a cartoon? Uh... 37. Really? Wow. Yeah, our security around here kind of stinks. But I have a really good reason. And what would that be? Because I want to be a cartoon real bad! That's not a good reason. Plus, I have Tara Strong in the phone. Butch, I wish you'd make Thomas a cartoon. Tara, why? I mean, the dude seems all right. Plus, he paid me 80 bucks to say this. Eh? <sighs> okay, but I've only got a minute. There's only so much I can do on short notice. Perfect! Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, we're going right now? That's how this works? Yeah, how else do you think this happens? Oh, okay. Uh, shoot. Well, ah, I'm actually a cartoon. Man, my skin is a lot smoother like this. Okay, only got a minute, what do I do? Let's go through a day in the life of Cartoon Thomas. First, I wake up refreshed and ready for the day. Shut up! Wow, rude much? Then I work out. Gotta go fast. Hey, you forgot your breakfast. 
Well, I don't not want to have that happen again. <laughs> Ow, my leg. Okay, I've run off a cliff, but it's a cartoon, so as long as I don't look down, oh darn. <laughs> I'm still somehow alive! Then, I usually make a video. Puppies? Maybe. Singing? Maybe. Singing puppies? Yes! Post! Then I usually fight crime! Oh look, I'm the bad guy. Don't worry, everyone loves the villain. Oh brother. And I finish up the day creating the perfect meal with my magical wizard powers! Hmm. And so, the day is saved, thanks to escaping from any and all sense of actual reality! Yeah! 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 And there you go. Wow, that was so cool. Well, I'm happy to help. I wish for more time to be a cartoon. <laughs> no. Okay, I did not think that would work. All right, thank you. Bye! Sophia? Yeah? Can we change the locks in the building again? I'm kinda tired of these weirdos getting in. Thank you. One flight to Florida later. Woo, just flew back. And boy, are your arms tired. Don't. Please do not. Why did I have to be flying in that cartoon? Why were any of us doing any of the things that happened there? It was almost as if you were doing uh, the most. Oh, yeah, like we're going to be animated and act like we would in the real world. I mean... I will say I was ambitious, but that was a lot of fun, right? Yes, it was fun! Uh, it was interesting. I like the dog. Do you remember the dog? Uh, shame it had to be over so soon. Uh, okay, Thomas, I can maybe slightly microscopically see how one may enjoy themselves if the world behaved like a cartoon. Ha! I win. But at the same time, the world that you live in can be just as wondrous and fascinating. You may not always see it, but sometimes our universe can be stranger than fiction. So much so that some people dedicate their entire lives to studying it and trying to understand it. Yeah, you are right. I shouldn't take this world for granted. It can be just as fun. Uh, fun, fascinating, tomato, selenum like a persicum. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be best to exclude logic completely. After all, the best kind of comedy in cartoons follows some line of logic, otherwise it would just be random, and that's Potato. never funny. Yeah, and the coolest thing is that the spirit of those cartoons, their comedy, and the messages they may have tried to convey stuck with us until now, and we're still paying tribute to them and trying to follow in their creative footsteps. Oh, great. Glad to know we still got a nice little message out of this ridiculous video. What exactly was the message? Cartoons are neat. Okay, fair enough. That's totally fair. But anxiety is the fairest of them all. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys, it was a pale joke. Good one. I've had enough for the day. Yes, I too have had my fair share of nonsense today. Ah, he's still learning, Thomas. Sometimes you just gotta tune him out. You know? Tune? Oh, nah. Like a cartoon. We are! All right, all right. Don't know what that was about. It was nice meeting you all. All right, I'm gonna see you guys later. Well, Thomas, it was a lofty dream. But we achieved it. We did. If only for a minute. Here's to many more. Next up, attending wizardry school. Well... If you grew up loving cartoons and they still mean a lot to you, I hope you are never ashamed to admit it. They inspire new comedy, new important representation, and new ways to creatively tell stories. Most importantly, they were created and voiced by people like you and I, here in this world, with amazing imaginations. In a way, we all bring them to life. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to the amazingly talented creator of the Fairly Odd Parents, Butch Hartman, for helping to make this video happen. Not only did Butch help to make the fantastic animation you saw in the video, he also designed a limited edition poster of all the Sanders sides available at districtlines.com slash Thomas Sanders, link in the description. We're only printing about a thousand of them and they're available in both signed and unsigned versions. I also did a video on his channel. It was a lot of fun and the link to that is down in the description as well. And and be sure to check out everything he's working on at the Noog Network app, an app he and his team have brought to life. The link to that app is down in the description too. That's it, and until next time, take it easy guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out. Just an idea. How did you get in? I think we stumbled upon a new Nickelodeon show? No. Nah, I'll let myself out.